Welcome to our Kotlin and Java integration tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with annotations. Our viewer is curious about how to pass an array to the at one of annotation from the Drop Wizard validation package. Let's break down the issue. In Java, using the an of annotation is straightforward, as you can simply pass an array of strings. However, our viewer is struggling with the Kotlin syntax, especially with Kotlin version 1102-2, where type inference is causing some confusion. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and I'm hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. To use the at one of annotation from the IO drop wizard validation package in Kotlin, we need to understand how annotations work in Kotlin compared to Java. In Java, you can directly pass an array of strings to the one of annotation like this at one of value mf. However, Kotlin has a different syntax. You might think to use array of or the array literal syntax in Kotlin. However, in Kotlin 1.1.2, this leads to a type mismatch error. The good news is that starting from Kotlin 1.2, you can use the array literal directly in annotations. So the correct usage is at one of value equals mf. Make sure to update your Kotlin version to at least 1.2 to utilize this feature. This will resolve the type mismatch issue and allow you to use the annotation as intended. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To pass an array to a Java annotation in Kotlin, you can use the one of annotation. For Kotlin version 1.2 and above, simply use the names parameter with square brackets. For older versions, use the array of function. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Kotlin, you can pass non-literal parameters to Java annotations using square brackets. Here's an example with the request mapping annotation. And that's it, guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.